If you are a distributed systems engineer like I am, chances are high that you need to store sensitive credentials for deployments, rollouts or automated system access somewhere. More often than not, those credentials are needed to be shared with your team as well. This can get quite painful quite fast. But luckily there is a tool for that. It's called Mozilla SOPS, so let's take a look at it. Welcome to another Quick Byte, where I present a tool, a process or just something noteworthy from my daily work routine as a senior software architect. Today's topic, Mozilla SOPS. Mozilla SOPS is short for Secrets Operations. It is a tool which allows the transparent handling of encrypted secrets files. Hereby a variety of different encryption systems like PGP, AWS Key Management, Azure Key Vault or H are supported. Using any of those techniques, proper encryption for multiple users can be handled and managed easily. The SOPS command is available as a statically linked Go binary for nearly every system. It can either be installed through your system's package manager or using the released binary directly. As already mentioned, different encryption solutions are supported. I am using H here, which is a modern, robust and yet small asymmetric encryption system. Think of it as PGP, but without all the bells and whistles, without the fuss and the complexity, especially for cases where all of that is simply not needed. Let's see how all of this works. First, I'm generating a private public key pair using H. To ease up management, I'm now creating a .sops.yaml file, which configures which files should be managed by SOPS and which public keys should be used for encryption. This allows a very transparent and easy management of who has access to the secrets in the end. If you are storing all of this in a version control system like Git, you should simply commit this file as well. Because due to the fact that we are using asymmetrical encryption, it's not a problem to have the public keys readable by the world. Ok, so let's go ahead and encrypt our first file. Usually we don't even need to change anything in our structure we are using in our system or application as there is support for a variety of file formats like JSON, YAML and INI. The SOPS command acts as a transparent bridge between the encrypted and decrypted contents. If used without further arguments on an encrypted file, it transparently decrypts it and opens it in the default editor you have configured on your system. Once we have made our changes, we are simply saving the file and SOPS is automatically, or better said, magically, encrypting the file again and updating the target. As SOPS is incorporated into more and more processes regarding distributed systems management, it gets even better and more awesome. The Kubernetes management tool Helm, for example, provides with its secrets extension a fully transparent way of using SOPS. Encrypted files can therefore simply be used for deployments without looking at them twice. Thanks for joining me again for another quick bite. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, as this really helps. If you want to be informed once the next one is up, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. I'm already looking forward to seeing you the next time. Bye!